Ah, uh, great. I just realized I'm already live. Can't go back now. I was just, I'm just remembering some things from the video that I want to show to everybody. I'm just going to set up the chat room so I can read what people are saying. There we go. Welcome to the stream rage. Welcome. And I just want to get this out of the way right now. I have a cold. Uh, I felt okay yesterday, but then the biggest shock of the month came when I went outside and it was actually cold. And I was not expecting that. And so I immediately grabbed. I, I was wearing just a t-shirt. But then I put on this extra long sleeve shirt. And then another jacket. And I was still cold. And I thought, is this me being cold because it's actually cold outside? Or is it because I'm starting to get cold? But then as soon as I got inside my car this morning, immediately non-stop sneezing. And blowing my nose and at first I thought it was just allergies but then I laid down for one hour uh, or not an hour I came back home and started sleeping and then when I woke up I started to feel those aches and pains that you would normally feel when you start to have a cold and then I thought well shit and this is kind of strange because I used to think before that if that I would always have a sore throat if that means I have a cold, but this time I just did it. It's like immediately, bam, just instant, instant mucus. But I'm not going to make the same mistake I did last time where I forced myself to drive for Uber when I'm not feeling well. When I, But I'm stuck at home. I'm making myself stay home because I guarantee you if I drive and tell myself we got to go, Drive six hours, you know, all those fucking... Yeah. There we go again. Whatever. Uh, whatever. I, I'm just like Mr. Krabs. I curse like a motherfucker. So it's like, if I go inside the store... And now I lost my goddamn train of thought again. But, here's the thing, right? When I... And I ended up going to the hospital that last time because I forced myself to work even though I should have been at home. But... You know, it was a combination of a lot of things, eating normally, normal stuff, even though I was sick. So, I just had regular breakfast, regular lunch, and this is was the last time I had coffee, which I'm proud to say now, but I am now, uh, what, so that was March 5th, or March 6th, yeah, I would say March 5th. So, yeah, I am now 21 days sober from caffeine, hooray! Uh, but the, what I wanted to do in this video, guys, was I just wanted to reminisce down memory lane and show you guys some old videos I made, which is so funny because oh, an important lesson or one thing, the whole point of this was I want you to see the joy I had making these older videos when I was really young. And I also wanted to mention that I'm kind of feeling that same joy right now because watching the, these old videos, uh, it's probably going to bring back some old memories I haven't thought of in a really long time. And as I think about them, I could probably talk about them with you guys. But uh, for the real OG Mr. Gaming Guitarist fans... <laughs> Oh boy, so yeah, you're, you're gonna have to excuse, oh, Rage says nice shirt, I got this at the, uh, I got this at the Gap in 2016, or maybe it was 2017.
but uh, I just want to want to show you the show this these clips to you guys, so you can see. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I just find out what year this was, so you can see what year. Okay, this was thirteen years ago, <laughs> so just if prepare yourself. This is gonna be this is gonna be funny, but this was a C. I made a series, a series called Flush Madness, <laughs> and it was. Uh, uh, and I'm 29 now, so we're gonna go back in time to when was this uploaded? March 27, 2010. So. Which is funny, almost exactly uh, 14 years ago now, if it's saying this was 13 years ago. So, I'm going to minima, I'm going to lower the screen so you guys can see it now. But, uh, yo, and by the way, let if you think that my sense of humor is R-rated now, you should have seen me back then. I was as R-rated as any HBO comedy special back then. <laughs> So, which it will be very funny if I got demonetized for showing these videos when these videos in themselves are still monetized and there's like, yeah, let's just, let me just uh, quickly, let's minimize this, the screen and go down here. Or where's there, where's a better way to put me, maybe up here. So, this was Flush Madness, and I just want you to take a look down here. There this 789 views 13 years ago. And I filmed this at a grocery store called Hong Kong, so, which is somewhere in Houston. So... Oh shit, hi Mo, hi Jonathan, 808 Cosmos, welcome, guys. So, here it is. I present to you, Flush Madness, <laughs> I can't even say the fucking title out loud without laughing. Flush Madness, Season 2, Episode 4, Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you uh, all the people that talk shit about me in the comments if they thought i would i'm cringe now wait till you get a load of this shit and no pun intended <laughs> or maybe intended all right let me uh let's see i guess we can just i think maybe putting me down here here we go oh well oh, oh shit i almost forgot to unmute the the audio from the computer here we go That was me. Um, we, we are at Hong Kong Supermarket right now. Uh, like, just turn around. Do a 360 degree. Okay, okay Cameron, just. And Keanu was holding the camera here. Yeah, that's about it for now. So, Flush Madness is just a toilet flushing followed by a random clip. That's all this was. We have, have some tofu here. Do you want it? Do you want it to be nice and soft? Do you want it to be a little... <laughs> oh, God. I'm remembering this now. White. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. They're meatballs made out of beef. Yeah. I really hope there's not some really foul shit in here that I'm gonna regret showing live. That's a lot of biscuit rolls. Yeah, tofu is only good if it's prepared properly. Okay, I've mentioned this before, but I couldn't resist. Oh it Jesus! Oh time. Jesus! Oh, oh yeah! Oh. I mean, seriously, look at this. Okay, ingredient: lake leaf, 
Yeah, yeah that, that is a real product, by the way. Like? That is real. What is it? That is a real product. Like, it is, like, or is it pronounced something differently? I think it might be pronounced repay or something like that. I don't want to know. Because pretty much, it, I think what I was doing in this video is I was show it. It was finding that clip or finding that bag of that whatever that for those fro that frozen leaf thing was. That r reminded me of the first time I ever saw uh, at at some stores you can find, and I'm not making this up. You can find something called cock flavored soup mix. Wait, and it has a photo of a root, like a drawing of a rooster, which they're supposed to be like rooster flavored, but it said cock on it. Oh. Hello, my hand is spanning herself at Hong Kong Food Market. I think there's like 25, I made 25 episodes of this. Look at this. Egg pudding jelly. Egg pudding Egg. jelly? Yes, yes. Blue yes, Malcolm, exactly. Face <clears throat> shall not be shown until uh, the future videos. Yes, egg pudding jelly. Egg. Egg pudding jelly. Egg pudding jelly. Egg pudding jelly. God. Exactly, Wolfgang. This Look. is so random. Cracker nuts. Yeah, it's cracker nuts. Cracker nuts. Cracker nuts. Crack. Crack. Er nuts. nuts. I'm a crack er nuts. <laughs> what? I'm crack a cracker nut. nuts. Yeah, that was me and Keanu doing this. Now look at that shit. It is fish. Dead fish. Yes, we've all seen dead fish before, but no. Have you ever seen any with eyeballs and fins, everything on it? It's not even skinned or anything like that. It's just there. It's just dead. I mean, I mean, who's who's ever, who's ever bought bought fish like that? I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously, who has? Seriously. Cracker nuts. Yeah, it sounds so wrong. Cracker nuts. I don't know why I decided to show that a second time. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. <laughs> they were selling fake Look money. That. Look at that. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Young money. <laughs> okay, so here's all right. I need you guys. I need I need your help with this. Okay, why why did Bruce? Or no, I, I called it Bruce. Because at the time, Keanu was using an alias, so he used the name Bruce Parker by combining the names Bruce Wayne and Peter Parker. And that's how he came up with Bruce Parker. But he said, it's all about the Benjamins. But at the end, he said something that he told me he heard rappers say at the end of a uh, of some video on MTV where they just shouted out, Young Buddy. Like, and I still don't understand what that means or if that's like, Shouting out the name of a record label, I still don't understand what that means or where that comes from. Great music, right? <laughs> uh. yo, yo, what up? I got some money at the Hell Bank note. Seriously, yeah. Hell Hell Bank, bank note. note. What's up? It's all about the Yu Wongs, baby. Look, look, it's all about the Yu Wongs, baby. Look at all that. Look at all that. I got, I got some a bunch of five hundred dollar bills. Yeah, Yu Wong. <laughs> up in her. Check, check it out. It's so, it's, it's like Chinese, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know what country that's supposed to be. <laughs> young money. <laughs> Why was he saying young money at the end? I don't get it. Okay, so yeah, that was Flush Madness. That's one of them. That is one of them. Those are not napkins. Those were just fake dollar bills. Or fake currency that you could buy there.
Yes, this was on March. Uh, let me double check that. March 27, 2010. So, I've got other stuff that I want to show you guys, so, let's see, uh, well, Wolfgang, I wouldn't, well, tomorrow, yeah, will be the 14-year anniversary of that video, yep. It's funny, though, how some of these are limited with the monetization, but, uh, let me put me back on the full screen again, because pretty much... It's so weird how some of these videos have monetization on, and then... Uh, Oh, this is weird. One of these has 1,000 views. I don't even know how that happened. Uh, let's see here. Because I'm really wondering what, which one to show next. <laughs> because the thing is, I just had. A big passion. For doing this. Because I enjoyed it. But by the way, like these barely got any views. Also, like this stuff. Didn't have anything at all had no views. So let's see. <clears throat> Hi, Ghost. Welcome to the live stream. We're just, uh, right now, we're just some, watching some old videos of mine going down memory lane. The fuck? I just re Why is it... Oh, that is so weird. What is it about that? that okay. Uh, yes, I currently have a cold, and I'm not going, and I refuse to make myself get so messed up that I had to go to the ER again, because last time I had a cold, I just continued driving for Uber, even though I was as sick as, like, how I currently am right now. So instead of doing that, I just decided... Let's just do a live, st uh, like, as I'm feeling really weak, but I can still come over here and do a live stream and chat with you guys and also showcase some older stuff that maybe you guys have probably never even heard of. <clears throat> so let's see here. Dark is red. So now there is, let's see, I've got another thing I wanted to show you. So here's some more flesh madness. This is just, 
I, because these are really short, but the crazy thing I've realized about this is I might have been ahead of my time with these. Because these almost feel like several different Vine videos all or, or TikTok things that all, are all put together at once, but I was doing this in like 2010. So let's uh, let the uh, cringe fest continue with this so let me see let me go back to my page here ghost says it's good if you're resting right now bro take care of yourself can't think do the things you want to do without recovering first that is very true uh wolfgang says i think you should have gone viral ages ago well i appreciate that thank you and the real NVCAP says, when do you turn 30? Well, my birthday is going to be on, is going to be in May. So I've got like a month and a half left of my 20s. And then the next decade for better things will continue, will begin. So let me see here. Let me, uh, okay. That's right, we click on it, and then we minimize the screen. So we go back down here, and here we go. This is... So you might be wondering, where is Season 1? Well, Season 1 of Flesh Madness was on my very first YouTube channel, which was called The Gaming Guitarist, but that got taken down in 2010. I had that from 2008 to 2010, and I really, 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 really wish... I still had those videos, but I just didn't have the bot in hindsight. I just did it. I wasn't mature enough to understand about backing up videos and doing all of that stuff. So, hey, not sure. Vegetarian. Welcome to the stream. We're watching old videos of mine right now. But anyways, yeah, but the more I tell you about like this felt kind of looking back on this, this reminds me of Vine and flesh mat like vine and tiktok years like before it happened but anyway just this is it's just pure randomness that's what flesh madness is a flush followed by a clip followed by a flush followed by a clip repeat that cycle so anyways season one was on my old channel and then i said here's season two on my new channel but it's so funny i just had so much joy i didn't have a care in the world i just loved to do this it's so funny how you take for granted when you're a kid the times you have where you had the time to make all the YouTube videos you wanted to make because you didn't have to worry about having income or having bills to pay. You don't, you, it's like you don't truly understand how much you take this time in your life for granted until it's already over. But I think that's just human nature. That's just how life is. But anyways... Here it is. Flush Madness Season 2 Episode 1. Dead Batteries. <laughs> oh, I, I did not remember that at all. <laughs> Oh, this is when my mom was making burgers. Me? <laughs> oh, yeah, this was uh, new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii. This was... Still a CRT TV. What the hell? I thought you could. A CRT TV. I still wish I had that TV. <laughs> what the hell am I doing here? What was this? <laughs> it's just me going up the fucking stairs.
Uh, Nerve says that's the most Texas looking home. <laughs> Which is funny, because I wouldn't think of that. To me, that was that's just... But that, you know, that's the thing, is that's w where I grew up. You know, I lived there from the time I was 11 until I was 27, when I'm not going to go into why all over again, because I don't want to go back into the negative energy. But the amazing thing is now I can look back at these videos and smile and remember, the, smile remembering the memories instead of being sad. Or because there would be times when I would look at old footage like this, and like, two years ago, like around the same time as that viral video, and all I would do is I would just start crying. No, not, not more than crying. I would just be sobbing looking at this stuff. It's like, why is that all gone? Why do, uh, can, why do was that, why do I, can I still live there? And, but now I'm realizing you know what? You don't appreciate, it's the, just the, kind of like what I was saying before. You don't appreciate what you've got till it's gone and boy almighty would I appreciate having a two, being able to live in a two-story house again. Burgers. What? The hell was I saying? Bunless. Oh, bunless <laughs> burgers. Which ones are cooked? Oh, they're not ready yet. Oh. Yeah, that that. Oh, yeah, that was on the George Foreman grill. It's so funny. This did not look very pixelated in 2010 when it was new. But now, because of HD stuff, now it is pixelated. This is the George Foreman grill, by the way. You know, I will. Yeah, did I mention this is the George Foreman grill? By the way. Hey, uh. Ghost, uh. Wait, let's see. He says, that's great. These are something to really smile about. I think we definitely complicate life sometimes in our heads when it's really that simple. The vid is something to smile about so far. This is how I feel about old animated films and games. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what nostalgia is. Because I found out the word nostalgia. Uh, I think I I could be completely wrong here, but I think it's related to some kind of like Greek word or something that means pain of the past or you feel it and it's like you wish you were still there but now I'm realizing something don't be sad because that time is over be happy that it happened at all that's the be the number one thing I could say about this stuff Boy, <sighs> I tried to say I'd be there hmm. <laughs> it's a uh... Red Hot Chili Peppers pun for you. Oh, well, wait, why did I say... Wait, I just said that's a Red Hot Chili Peppers pun. What the hell? What is that about? It's a... Red Hot... Hmm. <laughs> it's a... To say, Foreman Grill. By the way... Oh, fuck. Because I said, it. by the way. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. Oh, it's a God. Red Hot Chili Peppers pun. See, even back then, even back then... When was this? February 15, 2010, and I was still a Red Hot Chili Peppers fan back then. Just, Just imagine what it must have been like if you were a Chili Peppers fan, like, when their first album came out in 1983, being with them this entire time. And I, and it feels like I've been with them forever, but it's like, same thing with me and the Beatles or any of my other favorite bands. But anyways. <clears throat> uh, you know what? We will come back. Dead batteries. Now they're gone. In the trash. And this is gonna be on a flush video. That was the title. Dead batteries. That's where it comes from. Ah! <laughs> So, I don't know if you guys ever remember the Flip uh, video camera. That was like a brand where it said cameras made for vlogging and for YouTube. And now it's so funny how the cameras in our phones 
or here. But pretty much, that's what I decided to do. I just came up with an idea in my head, uh, Ghost, called Flush Madness. And all I was doing was just flushing a toilet with randomness in between the flushes. That's all there is to this. And I love how it, I, I called it by myself like, as if I was Prince. Or it's the guy formerly known as the gaming guitarist. Now here's the one thing that I don't understand. Which I'm not even going to dare click on this anymore. But in 2010, I made a video. A Flush Madness video. It was season 2 episode 5 flatbread. And yet it the ads for this got turned off maybe 2 or 3 years ago. And it all of a sudden became age restricted, and I have no fucking idea why. So I'm just gonna go ahead and avoid that one. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. I guess we're just going to watch Flush Madness for, for this stream. <laughs> and then I'll, of course, and I'm still always chatting with you guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So now the next one is called, Sa is co and it's so funny because I put a lot of time and effort into this, and yet I was still happy, even though this was all for like three minutes, five minutes, one minute, it's like relatively short videos. Uh, let's see. Uh, next one was called Shredded Cheese. I don't know why it's called Shredded Cheese, but either way, you and I will find out together. This was March 13, 2010. Oh yeah, my mom used a back scratcher to grab. Oh, that was my aunt. She was using a back scratcher to grab. <laughs> oh. uh. Once again, the back scratcher. The Look at how cheap those prices were. Accessory. Like one dollar, two dollars, ninety-eight cents for those boxes. My hair looks like shit. <laughs> All right, time to change the batteries and the Wii remote, or as a Elmer Fudd would call it, the Wii remote. <laughs> Anyway. Stewie Griffin pajamas. You know, <laughs> um, got energizers and okay. Now most people now you remember this. Hey, remember the last Flush Madness? Well, here are some dead batteries once again. This time they're energizers and they're gone. How old was I here? So, I was 15 here. Oh god, oh god. Oh no. Oh, oh no. If you- Oh god, if you think I was a bad singer back then... Oh, oh god. Out of all the potentially foul R-rated shit, no pun intended, you'll be seeing from Flesh Madness, this is, the, but I do miss that guitar. I miss that guitar a lot. <clears throat> oh, wait, never mind. I don't think I was singing here. Stoner Palm says, bro, these streams hit, dog. Well, I appreciate- Oh, that's why it's called Shredded Cheese. It's a fucking shred off. <laughs> yeah, get that cheese and that salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why? It's so funny, because I would never do shit like that. Or maybe, maybe I should be using this as inspiration to return to that carefree attitude I had back then. Who knows? <laughs> 
Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I was fully living the life here in this room. Take a look. We had not one, but two 20-inch TVs here. We had the CRT Toshiba right here, and that was AT&T U-verse over here, and this was my brand spanking new 2010 or 2009 Samsung 32-inch LCD TV. Ooh, no more dealing with, with the CRTs, the tube TVs. But sad, but it's so funny because now it's like people seem to be really collecting these CRT televisions. And it's so funny. I used to think 32 inches back then was huge. But now it's like you look at a 32 inch TV now and they just look like they're tiny. <laughs> Oh, shit, I remember. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There was something else in here. So, over here, there was the Wii right here. There was the Xbox 360. And then right here was Donkey, a clock of Donkey from Shrek. And I remember that because Burger King in 2004, they were selling, uh, like, the, the toys for their kids' meals had, like, Shrek 2 toys. And even though it's not a toy, it's like, it was a clock with Donkey on it. Yeah, see, the camera always had a hard time focusing. And this is when my aunt was still playing video games. <laughs> yeah. My aunt did have Gamer Rage back then. <laughs> testing, testing this mic for backup vocals. Does it work? I know my guitar amp works. Okay. Good. I just wanted to say something. Back then, at this time, having, uh, I missed that amp that I used to have. That was a Jet City. I think it's called the JCA20H. It was a 20 watt tube amp head, and I loved it. I just loved it. Single channel, and I loved it because it was like the cheapest version of getting a Soldano amp, and I don't even think that Jet City is still around as a brand because now I think Soldano makes mini amps. Raised up the volume on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, works now. Right. I know the pedal works too. Huh? So the pedal I was using. I'm pretty sure that was the MXR Classic Overdrive, and they only made that as like a limited edition for Black Friday in 2008. Yeah. That was the first pedal I ever got. Doing a sound check for a little three minute YouTube video. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Get up. Ah, <sighs> man. This is bringing back a lot of good stuff. Hey, guys. While I have. Oh, there it is. I was already talking about it. So, uh, yeah, Ghost. I, uh, yeah, I learned to play by myself, which is probably why I still feel like my skill level is way behind where it should be. But I was playing, uh, yeah, all I did was just watch, you watch YouTube lessons. My new battery installed. There's no more use for 
This poor old... Wow, look at this. The Dell Dimension 8400. And I remember this was from 2003, but I was still using it even in 2010. And I think uploading one video at this time took about three hours. And, you know, there were still home phones here. Uh, yeah. There are still 9-volt battery. So guess what it is? It's a dead battery. It's dead. It's funny. Like, this one should have been called Dead Batteries Part 2, because I showcased that... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, and how many views does this have? 78, and yet I still wrote messages like that. <laughs> Even though that applies way more now, these days. So, let me see. What, what else is here? Next one was called... I don't know if I really want to watch all of these. I think I'll just pick and choose certain ones. But let's see. Hello, Michael. So then we're watching some old videos of mine right now. Uh, let's see. So now. Uh, the one vi okay this one oh you know what ghost that really fucking sucks Michael that was very cool yesterday when I did hit 60 views but um, I think it was really cool when but ghost uh, that's kind of fucked up because you ended up losing interest because you weren't interested in the electric guitar. That's kind of uh, one thing that sucks is that when your parents try to force something on you that you don't want, it ends up like building, like if you ended up playing electric guitar back then, it would have been good. But if you're saying, you should you pick it back up? Absolutely, you should fucking pick it back up because... Here's the thing, the because the first best time to do something was yesterday, the second best time to do something is right now. Um uh, yeah, well there's certain videos here that I wanted to showcase. Uh Oh, wait a minute. If this is what I think it was, no, it wasn't. It was in 2011, I believe. Or maybe it wasn't. Ghost says that quote goes hella hard. Well, I did not come up with that. That's just something I remembered hearing uh, a while a while back. Uh, so the next video I want to show you guys is is this one it was called fabric i got a package We are here at Fabric, the fa uh, Fabric Warehouse. There's a bunch of fabric. Yeah, so right now, yeah, we'll be back and meet you. You will meet me later. Hey, where's the camera? And here is Keanu running, <laughs> Try pretending to steal the camera away from me. <laughs> <laughs>
stole my camera. <laughs> Come here. Come back here. You stole my camera. Say you're sorry. <laughs> Oh, he he get a power slide. <laughs> oh, that is some funny shit. Okay, get that. Oh, this is when I had Nike. Sh I think those were Nike Shocks or Nike Air Force One shoes. <laughs> this place, it's, it's like a maze. This way. Look here. See, look at this. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, we were. Uh, me and Keanu were 16 here. I mean, seriously. You could easily get lost in here. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't even do it back then. Yeah, now I've got you, you camera thief. <laughs> uh, I got these nice. I got these nice textiles. Ooh. Yeah. Man, and this is nice. Oh, there's my aunt. Oh, hey, come back here. See, here's the thing, right? Come back, Aaron. I would take my flip camera and have it in my pocket, just like how now mm -hmm. I always have my earbuds with me. Hey, hello. Oh, that was my f my uh, my mom's friend's daughter. Oh, that camera thief is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was good. That was good. I... <laughs> I forgot about that. Hey, there you are! Oh. Now, say, now I got it. No, 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 Okay, stop, stop. Oh, man. That was a fan. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny. There he is. Now I got you. Now I got you. You camera thief. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry. Are you sure you're sorry? Do you apologize for stealing my camera? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for watching Flush Madness 9 Fabric. Yep. There it was. But you know what's really funny about that? There's two comments on this video. All right. Take a look here. There are these comments from 11 years ago, but the curious thing here was that I noticed. Someone somehow found this video six months ago and replied acting as if me and Keanu are still the same exact people from that video. Like, does he not even realize how old this was? Look at what he said. Said it's... Look at this shit. He says, 
It's very strange, I know. I don't think... Okay, let me do my impression of every person who leaves a shitty comment. <clears throat> it's very strange, I know. I don't think people like this understand how much their behavior shapes the way people view them. This video doesn't just make them seem weird and creepy. It makes them weird and creepy. <laughs> like, the fact that he would comment on something like this, like, that's completely dead and empty... Like, really? Like, you're going to uh, to be that serious about people who were 16 from 13 years ago? <laughs> Jayawana Sundad Weepa just subscribed. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, what's next? Exactly, Ghost. So anyways, that's now there's one that I'm pretty proud of because I feel like, uh, OK, I really. I I'm trying really hard to remember. There was something in particular that <laughs> that was so fucking funny that I'm not that, it, that is pretty R rated, <laughs> but it was so funny that I do. It's oh man. Because I don't even want to reveal what it is, because me and Keanu were watching some of these yesterday when I visited him, and he was, and we were just crying, laughing at it. But uh, but here was, I think this was the last one. That I ever did. This was season one. I mean, season five, episode one. So this was. Okay. This is back, oh God. So this was ten years ago, December six, twenty thirteen. Oh, this was the apartment that I was in. In college, or the for the eight months I was there. So yeah, this was me fresh out of high school. Okay. Flush madness is back, motherfucker! Oh, different. <laughs> Let's try this shit now. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, these were my roommates in college. <laughs> oh, man. I really wonder where they're at now. <laughs> I do not remember this at all. This, by the way, I just want to say, this was when my hair was at its, <laughs> this was when my hair was at its absolute peak. Like, this was like LeBron James in Miami for my hair. You know who Bill Gates is? No, I don't. Who no. do you think Bill Gates is? I thought he was the guy that made either PC or Mac. Okay, we're getting somewhere. He was the, um... Founder of Microsoft. What? <laughs> How did you not know that? How can he from Microsoft? Microsoft is downward piss poor shit now. He's the person that started it in the 70s. So basically he got fired from being Microsoft leader. <laughs> really, he's dead, isn't he, Bill Gates? <laughs> Bill Gates is not dead. Now, Hulk Kobe's not working with Microsoft then. He left. He retired. He's doing better things. He's doing a... He worked. Uh, he's working on charity full time now, and the reason why Microsoft is doing so shitty is because he's not there anymore. 
He was. They were doing. So this was 2013. This old clip. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. There's one. So this guy. Ah, I remember. I think his name was Court Cortland. That that was this guy's name. I really need to. Man, I haven't heard from him in so long. I think I might still have his number. Down the hill, so. But he wasn't. Res but, but the reason is the Xbox 360 was terrible. See, because I was really trying to be like a host at IGN at this point. Or not IGN, just a video game. A guy that talked about video game news at that point in time. And that's when I was like, the, the way that I can rattle off information about guitars and bands and stuff. I was still that way back then, but that was when I was at into gaming the most. What happened afterwards, like it was after he left. After it's funny because I didn't even set a, a create a thumbnail at that time. I, like what? A, what is the thumbnail showing? Because I don't even know. Is it showing the toilet from Flush Madness? Came out. That's just damn. That was in 2006 too. Five, 2005. Bill Gates. Yeah, uh, the 360 came out in 2005, and I believe. Bill Gates left in 2006. Yeah. So that was my me telling my roommate about Bill Gates. Ah! It's showing a funny face. Okay. What the hell? What the fuck? I don't remember this at all. What was that? Keanu was sleeping? Why did I fucking... What? You're on flush madness right now. <laughs> and you don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh, God. Oh, whoops. I hit the microphone. Wake up, bitch! <laughs> That's the follow-up. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, my name is Mr. Gaming Guitarist. Uh, this is my best friend, Bruce Parker. Yeah. And uh, this is called Taking the Christmas Tree Downstairs. I love how I announced it like it was a jackass sketch. Yep. He is taking it down. Why am I narrating this like a jackass stunt? <laughs> Holy shit, Maybe I just said it! I didn't even I remember. I am a jackass. Would you agree, Bruce? Yeah. Yes. Hi. My name is Jackass, Jackass. Ah! <laughs> okay, so Anthony is saying, why did you not want to finish college? Because at that time... <laughs> Uh, you know what, because uh, I feel like this is going to go on for way too long. I actually made a video about this exact subject, Anthony. I made a video called, it, the video was called The Downside to Being Intelligent. But it was because at that point, it was because I was freaking out because... I had, uh, I was stuck with the identity of being called a gifted kid, and all that meant was effortless success, like, because I would do really good in school, and then it got to the point where I would just show up and wing it and get a good grade, and then it got to the point where... I mistakenly thought everything was going to be easy. It's like I could just show up and do stuff and still get a good grade. And then it got to the point where the material was too hard for me. And it came to a point where we had to do a project where we had to record somebody in school. Because I was in a, a, my degree was for audio production. Because at the time I thought I wanted to work at a recording studio, but it was a combination of all types of things. But it's just, I really wanted, at that time, I really wanted to, uh, let's just say I cared more about playing the music than the guy behind the scenes, because, as, 
but now you know in some ways i kind of regret that sometimes there's uh, then there's other days where i was glad because the i remember the cost of tuition at that time for the art institute uh which you know they're like there's they have like several locations but for them it was like eighty thousand dollars and that was eighty thousand dollars in 2013 so then i because then i would be stuck with 80 grand in debt rather than the what i think that eight thousand in debt that i have from only attending there for eight months or something like that anyway that's like the quick summary of it i don't remember what this one was but this clip was Pull the rope. Pull the rope. That was Keanu. Stop it, douche! <laughs> yes, exactly, vegetarian. You can always educate yourself for next to nothing yeah that is very much true oh here's a handy video maybe i can watch that later um <clears throat> so i want to just proofread this stuff before i uh or not proofread but uh Eels on Wheels says, you're a legend, man. I'm proud of you and how far you've come as a person. Thank you. I appreciate it. That means a lot. <clears throat> that is such a good quote. Vegetarian says, life isn't about college degrees anymore. It's about the bets you place in life. Yes. Uh, Charlemagne says, Mr. Gaming Guitarist, have you heard of the band Soundgarden? Of course I have. Chris Cornell is my favorite singer of all time. I, have be I became a massive Soundgarden fan in 2013 and i was absolutely devastated when when chris died and yeah he's one of my biggest musical heroes to this day i love so and i love kim thale's guitar riffs i loved uh i loved um oh damn it i know his name i know his name and i loved ben shepherd's uh just his unusually melodic sense of bait uh with his bass playing and of course matt cameron is just a great drummer so now um Super Unknown is, that is very true. Super Unknown is a masterpiece album. Absolutely. Ghost says, thank you for this chat, bro. I happened to swing by by chance and it's been a very lighthearted stream. Thank you. These reminded me of old videos of my own. Hey, well, that's great. I, it, I appreciate that. Very nice. Ghost says, I'll be leaving to help my mom out. Take care of yourself and love you, bro. Hey, thanks. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching the stream. <clears throat> so, this one was probably the funniest one that I've done so far, that I did. It was called... So, let me see here. Um, because there was one that I wanted to wanted to check and see why it had this one Flesh Madness video had limited uh, monetization. Let me. I just want to proofread this. But in the meantime, whatever questions you've got for me, go ahead, send them down, and uh, we'll talk about them.
Okay, what was I doing in this episode that was so bad that YouTube decided to give it limited monetization? So pretty much what, uh, so her, He-Man McSpeed saying, what direction are you planning for your channel to go? I mean, really, this channel is, well, when I uh, first started, this channel was about music and about video games, but then I always remember my original channel bio said it was about other random stuff. And that other random stuff included Flush Madness, but then, like, after that video of mine I made went, went viral unexpectedly, I started talking more about my mental health, and of course, I, I'm still going to make videos on that subject, but that's not all I want to be known for, because it felt like it was my sadness that made me go viral, but that's not the impression I want people to have of me. But then at the same time, you can't control the impression people have on you. All you control you can control is your reaction. You that's all you've got. So instead of placing expectations on what I want, what I'm noticing is and I always talk about this all the time. But if you only, if you focus only, and I say this repeatedly, if you've especially if you've watched my previous live streams, and it this uh, this next sentence I'm about to say, I truly believe it really is timeless. If you only think about the present moment, you. have nothing to worry about because and I can only talk about my experience here but when I'm only focusing on the present all of a sudden I'm I become happier and most importantly I start feeling these little sparks of creativity I get this little boost of energy like it, there was one where I was writing a new song which I still haven't finished which I will finish when I get my guitars back from the pawn shop. But the biggest thing that I've learned was when is that like I would always tell myself, oh, I'm not I don't feel like making a video. But those days when I say I don't feel like doing it, like, for example, it's always the days when I say, oh, I feel lazy or I don't want to do this. And then I and then I say, fuck it. And I just do it. I end up being so happy I did it anyway, and then that leads to sparks of creation. Sparks of creation, that's a good thing. That's like a good thing to repeat out loud. Sparks of creation. That's kind of catchy. And, I, and that just came to me randomly while improvising, answering your question off the top of my head. But pretty much it's like, I don't want to be put in a box. Like, people think, oh, I'm the depressed motherfucker. No, 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 no. That was just how I was, happened to be on that day. Like, that wasn't the real me in that video that now has 800,000 views. But what I can say is if people could learn from my sadness from that video, use that to make sure they never become how I was in that video, then that's a good thing. But for me, it's like, I want to make what I want to make. And even if you suck at it, it doesn't matter. Because, like, especially in these older videos of mine that we're watching, you got to see the real, like, you got to see, I didn't care that it wasn't having any, that it wasn't getting any views. I was just having a good time. but you can still have a good time while implementing strategies to still get better at making videos. And that's why I'm being vague with it. It's like, I don't have a direction plan. I have subjects that I enjoy talking about. Like, I love talking about music. I mean, that's why I have the name Mr. Gaming Guitarist. Came up with that name 
Well, it was originally the gaming guitarist, but I still came up with that name uh, in 2008 because it was a perfect representation of who I was at the time. Because, and I'm still that way. I love video games and I love guitars. Still do. Oh, holy shit. Vegetarian just gave a super chat for $20. He said, right on, wanting to see more live streams. Keep putting it out there. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, that means a lot, man. Thank you so much. <clears throat> And, uh, Yuka Vep Salenin, Sa 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 I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, says love from Finland. Hey, thanks. Nice to know that, it's nice to know that both me and, uh, it's nice to know that both me as well as Conan O'Brien are famous in Finland. <laughs> so, I, okay, I think it was this video. What the fuck is going on in this? Okay, because I'm proof watching, you know, how some editors do like a proof read. Well, I call this proof watching because I don't want to show something in here because it's so weird how you can have old. Oh, there it goes. Now it shows up on the from the whole uh, OBS setup. But uh, yeah, um, but it's just crazy to me because. There's old videos of mine here where if I uploaded it, the same exact thing right now, like it could potentially be offensive to YouTube's guide violation of YouTube's guidelines or whatever, but they're still up here. So yeah, and I just did the Jordan shrug. Come at me, Jordan shrug. <laughs> NBA fans will know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's funny because I started off with a cold, but I feel like that nap I took and then waking up and then just coming here doing a lot because it's like I didn't feel like coming up with because I, there is a video I'm working on right now, but I, I but I'm still feeling sick. Like I'm still feeling like that aching feeling that you feel whenever. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, Jacob, that goes without question, of course. Like, the fact that we live in a world right now where th that, where what Jacob just said still has to be said, which I don't even want to say those two things because words that he wrote out loud, but it's because it just feels like it's going to open up a can of worms with the algorithm that I don't want to deal with. But, of course, Jacob, that's common sense. But what I mean to say is, and now I lost my damn train of thought again. Yuka, just, Yuka, here's the thing. You just have to, oh wait, he says, I watched your video about being, about the, he watched my viral video and he says, I'm 16 and I'm struggling to find a partner. Do you have any advice? Uh, here's the thing. It's not that I'm annoyed at you. I'm, I just get annoyed about, that subject continuing to pop up over and over again because let me tell you something something about all i guess all i can tell you is my opinion and that's all i have you can you just take with it what you will 
or take from it what you will. Don't overthink. It's as simple as that. There's a girl that you... Because here's the thing. Finding... Finding a partner is not a goal. It's something that happens along the way. If that makes any sense. Exactly. You have way more time. I mean, you've got more free time than I do. So it's all about socializing. Just talk to, talk, you have to get used to talking to strangers. And what I mean by that, it, well, you're 16. So I, you know, when you're an adult, just, you just have to, and I know it sounds super generic, but it really is just putting yourself out there. But if you're, because I feel like, when people are, st when they tell me I'm this age and I need help trying to find a girlfriend and all of that stuff, that it's right there in the sentence. That's the issue. Finding a girlfriend. It is not, it's that's, it cannot be a goal because all that ends up doing is you end up. Ah, God, now, uh, see, I don't want to get back into this fucking subject again, but pretty much all I can tell you is don't worry about it, man. You're 16. You've got plenty of time. All right, just be happy. Spend time going out with your friends. And if you find a girl you like, try talking to her. See if you get along. And if she rejects you, just please understand. Please, please, please fucking understand. It is not the end of the world. All right, that's all. I'm I'm not going to address this subject anymore. Yes, what Spacey said, you literally just meet someone and have chemistry there. All right, because I feel like every time this fucking topic of oh big zago what do i do ah, it's like you're putting too much importance on it because guess what it's like ah god it's like the it feels like the more i keep t speaking about this the more i'm digging myself into a hole and then the chat room is going to derail into this again because honestly it's tiring it's like when you go out, because you have to feel good on the inside first. That's the number one thing. You have to feel good on the inside because this whole thing about finding one, because guess what? Just be, if you have a girlfriend, that does not mean all your problems are going to automatically be solved. Because if you're ha dealing with a bunch of shit, that shit is still going to be there just because that's the thing. You cannot expect that girlfriend. That means all of a sudden all your problems are going to be solved. Okay. That is the number one thing. You got to, you have to first find what you want to do with your life. For me, that's playing in a band and making YouTube videos. That's the two things I've always wanted for my career. It's just that. You find what you love, and while you are living your life on the journey, doing what you love, whenever you, if you meet a girl that you get along with, ask her out. If she says no, don't fucking stress out about it. Okay? All right, I'm done with that. <clears throat> Yes, I agree with what Vegetarian says. You have to be a bit of a chameleon in this world. Yuka, this is... 
universal what I'm saying. So it doesn't matter if you're a male or a female, if it doesn't matter what your gender is, what your sexual orientation is, it's about human beings connecting. That's all it is. That is all it is. It's all about connecting. Human beings that enjoy each other's company. Nothing more, nothing less. All right? And Yuka, please don't be offended. Like, I'm here giving you my perspective, and then you start saying that shit. Like, it's because I, oh, Jesus Christ, man. It's like, I already have a cold. And now it's like, you're trying to, now you're wanting to pick a fight with me. It's like, come on. You asked for my advice and I answered it. Now you're being offended at my answer. <laughs> oh, God. Now, anyways, it's funny. I was not expecting to get frustrated, but here we are. Okay, now I understand why this old video of mine was limited. Oh, God. Ugh. Spacey is correct. Zen Master Jaren knows no frustration. <laughs> I could feel the my old self coming back. Because I'm not even going to bring up what that person said. But it is so typical. Uh, and I'm not, I don't even want to say what, I'm about, what I was about to say. I just cut myself off there. But what I was going to say was... I asked... For this person asked me for advice, I answered it. And then they're trying to spin it around. Well, well, Jacob, I don't agree with that, but that's your opinion, and that's okay because if we all will agreed on the same thing, then this world would be extremely boring. Alright, I really want to move on from this fucking topic. Uh, I have no... Exactly, Spacey. That's exactly why I want to fucking move away from it. Because shit can get toxic extremely fucking fast, and then people will misinterpret what I am saying, and then spin it around, and... Yeah. So anyways. Uh, no. Uh, I have never been to England, but I would love to go there someday, because a dream of mine has always been I would love to be able to um <clears throat> to visit the factory where they make the martial amps i think that's in uh man i used to know the name of the town it was in but yeah i've never been but man i love england i love uh pretty much it's like i i love english people like it's like any time i hear someone and then i start hearing a british accent or an Eng any type of english accent it's like i immediately like it feels like the odds that I'm going to like them more as a person just go up a bit more whenever I hear uh, an, an English accent. It I don't know why. <laughs> um, 
Jensen is asking me, are you going to go on vacation this year? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, sh uh, sorry. No, no, I If I had the money, I absolutely would. But uh, no, I, I, I'm just too broke to go on vacation. Ooh, Khaled is saying, what is your favorite Beatles song? Well, man, oh, that is tough. Shit. Jonathan is saying somewhere like York would be. Oh, seeing the original York. I see. It would be a good place to see. Uh, no, Jensen, you don't have to apologize. I I just don't really have that much interest in riding motorcycles. Vegetarian says Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Yeah, that's a good one. Man. My favorite Beatles song. I mean, off the top of my head, I really love... Um, Uh, it's almost like each Beatles album is a different seasoning. If you want to relate this to cooking, because I've been cooking a lot more recently and it feels like. Because it just feels like. Um. I see. Jonathan says changes all the time, but maybe because at the moment, yeah, I am the walrus is pretty good. I mean, I, I, if you just list a Beatles track, and I'll say, yeah, I like it. I mean, the Beatles mean so much to me because they were my very first memory that I have of having me of learning about music. So. It, you know what? Shit. I think a Khaled, a Khaled or Khalid, he nailed it. Said, in my life, yeah, that is my favorite. That is absolutely my favorite. I think in my life, that is a, fuck, in my life or day, oh shit, hang on, I don't want to fuck it up because I'm, I'm forgetting the exact, hang on. Day in the Life is my favorite Beatles song. Of course, why did I forget that? But yeah, Day in the Life, that's my favorite one. Uh, well, Jonathan says, shame how the White Album has a lot of filler towards the end. Well, I would say the for the Beatles, um, I really enjoy... Um, I really like Dear Prudence. I like Back in the USSR. Of course, Helter Skelter is amazing. Yeah, Dear Prudence is great. Abbey Road is amazing. For me, I uh, because I used to think of the Beatles as when I was younger, I thought that I because I completely I just didn't understand like when they stopped touring and all the albums they made at that time it was interesting to me because i didn't discover that side of them until after uh until like when the hype was building for the beatles rock band because really it's like everything for me ties back to guitar hero and rock band like i owe so much to those video games because i wouldn't be a musician without them without them those games existing Jacob, I uh, we do not talk about politics in this channel. That's your first and only warning. Yeah. 
Jensen says, why not? Because it's very, because it very easily leads to toxicity and I want nothing to do with toxicity. <clears throat> end of it. I'm putting an end to that right there. Rattlehead says, exactly, Charlemagne, because politics causes arguments and I'm going to stop saying that P word because somehow the YouTube algorithm might catch on to that and start putting me with other things that talk about that subject. And I want to get because there's far too many fucking people on YouTube discussing that subject. And all it does is instead of people having actual rational discussions, it just turns into fucking name calling and toxicity and people, the human be. if you want to see the worst of humanity, then go ahead and look up that subject because I refuse to have any part of it. <clears throat> yes, Khaled says, I love how you call it the P word. Yes, exactly. Because it should be a fucking P, it should be a fucking, uh, Curse word. <laughs> All the the only thing I'm going to end on is if you want to know why I don't discuss the P word, just listen to one of my favorite comedians of all time, George Carlin. End of discussion. Shaolin Kamikaze says, hey, Mr. GG, keep up the good work. You're doing amazing and. And I, sorry, I can't. And you've grown and grown so much, much love and have a kicker's day. Thank you so much, Shaolin. I appreciate that. You see, it's so funny how I'm able to switch back to being my normal self that took what maybe 10 minutes yeah i just hate that i didn't start getting into george carlin until after he passed away i mean my fit but the thing that made me laugh his ass off the most was when he said you know that feeling you get in the back of your throat whenever you eat ice cream and then and then but you can't scratch it so you just have to wait for that throw that that frozen throat feeling to go away and then what do you do afterwards eat more ice cream what are we fucking stupid <laughs> uh, thanks for watching the stream jensen Rattlehead says, yes, you've only played Band Hero and Guitar Hero Van Halen. So, man, I was like a kid in a candy store when Guitar Hero Van Halen came out because they were already my favorite. Eddie was all, you know, because Eddie Van Halen is my favorite guitarist of all time. So I just devoured Guitar Hero Van Halen just in pure bliss playing through all the songs for that on Guitar Hero. Khaled says, I've recently learned nothing else matters. Yeah. I mean, the very first part of nothing else matters is very easy because it's uh, to teach uh, uh, because it's just it's all just open strings. Vegetarian says, doesn't it seem like Metallica only played the most depressing songs? Well, it's funny, though, that you say that because I I'm not a guy that pays. I pay it some attention now to lyrics, but I did it back then. <clears throat> because in some ways, if you think Metallica has depressing lyrics, then I would say. It's a way for James Hetfield to let all that stuff out of his system. He channels it out through lyrics and through his trademark aggressive downpicking. That's my interpretation of it. Vegetarian says Motley Crue is my favorite mainstream band. I love Motley Crue. I just hate that 
for whatever fucked up reason, them and McMars can't get along. Because I love John Five as a guitar player. I think he's a great. I mean, if there was anyone to put in Mick's spot, I, I'm not mad at John Five, but I just hate that Mick is in his 70s. The band, the rest of the band are in their 60s. Why the fuck can't they just fucking get along? It's like they're still acting like fucking toddlers in kindergarten. Like, I just don't get it. Same reason why the original members of KISS just can't fucking get along. I don't fucking get it. Like, why? Just, Jesus, just split the money 25%. Like, why is it so fucking hard? <sighs> And I love how Jacob says, sorry for speaking facts. I will be thinking it in my head. Move on. It's like. Yeah, just because I timed you out for five minutes because I don't want to talk about the fucking P word. Because talking about the P word is not fucking speaking facts. Jesus. Yeah, same thing, Charlemagne. The Ramones also fucking hated each other. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I don't know if Roger Waters and David Gilm... I mean, they got back for that Live 8 show in 2005 for Pink Floyd. <laughs> Johnny and Joey Ramone did not talk for like 10 years. Damn. I mean, that's why I was so happy when, when, at, when Slash and Duff went back and went back and reunited with Axel, and now they Guns N' Roses, and they've been back now for eight years already. Simon and Garfunkel, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Damn, where is the... Because, uh, yeah, this is the weird thing is, I don't know if it was just allergies or if, it, or, or if that was a cold, but all I did was I took the allergy spray and now... Okay, Yuka, thank you for proving to me that you are a real human being. He said, I'm sorry I didn't mean to the message to be interpreted like that, but that's actually a pretty good example of my own cognitive bias, because anytime I see language written like that, it's like I immediately start to feel aggressive and defensive, because in the past, anytime someone speaks like that, it always just boils up stuff, because it almost feels like the way you were writing that out loud in text form it's like it made me feel like I was being attacked. But it's so funny how our brain's perspective dictates our reaction. And that's exactly the number one thing that I feel like me and anyone should be working on. Is it's very easy to misinterpret things. And what you saw right there from maybe 20 minutes ago was exactly what it is. Yuka says, sorry for my bad English. I live in Finland. I'm not offended. I actually found that advice inspirational. Oh, hey, well, you're welcome. And that's why I do not read comments on my YouTube videos. Because the because sometimes it that impulse control is, is still there. And when I see someone talking shit, it, it just it goes back to old psychological things where 
I never wanted anyone to think of me as when I was in school, I never wanted anyone to think of me as being a bad kid. And could you imagine how silly this was? I, I had a lot of pride in that I never got in trouble with teachers. I never got in trouble with the principal. I never had to go to detention. I never ha went to, um, like, what is that? ISS or in school suspension. Like I had like a, per a perfect record but that, but then that's when you learn, realize school doesn't mean shit in the real world. Okay, Jacob, you just proved to me that you're, that you are the type of person I do not want on this fucking channel. Goodbye. <clears throat> I'm not even going to read what he fucking said out loud because at first he, you know, he wanted to start talking about the P word. And so I timed him out for five minutes. And then he comes back and said, oh, sorry for silencing me for speaking the truth. Fuck off, motherfucker. He exactly, Spacey. He probably is a fucking 12 year old troll where life clearly hasn't fucking kicked him in the ass yet. Khaled says, what song is better, A Day in the Life or Champagne Supernova? I don't know. Wait, is Cham wait, Champagne Super is Champagne Supernova a Beatles song? Because I've never heard it. Oh, it's Oasis. I mean... Well, A Day in the Life is one of the best songs of all time, so, and I heard it when, for the first time maybe when I was 10, so it's kind of hard to uh, have that impression when you hear something that great from that young and, you've, and you know it and you hear it and then you compare it, it's like, it's kind of hard for me to pick, do I like this thing better or this thing better? Uh, do I like Tame Impala? Yes. Yes, I do. I, I love Tame Impala. I, I like what I've heard about him. He's one of those guys where, like Prince or Paul McCartney or Wolfgang Van Halen or Phineas, where he I love how he does all, or Lenny Kravitz, where he just does all the instruments. He does everything on his own album and then tours with a band. Uh, like, just that amount of level of talent is just so impressive. But, yeah, he's, he's great. <clears throat> exactly, John. Yep. Yeah. Yuka Tame Impala is, uh, I believe he's from Australia, I think. And yeah, he just, I don't know how to describe his music. I, d I don't really know too much about him, but my best friend Keanu, he loves him. Shastity says, hello there. What the hell did I walk into? Let's just say Shastity, the less you know, the better. Because things uh, were potentially starting to turn toxic. And I'm so thankful I was able to turn that ship around. <clears throat> Yeah, Shasi, well, I'm doing better than I was at the beginning of the stream, because at the beginning of this live stream, I was starting to, you know what, because we're not watching old videos anymore, I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. Uh, let's go to change the title. <clears throat> I'm doing much better than I was uh, earlier. Let's just say that earlier mentally, but also I was feeling. Okay, Jonathan says, do you do sports at all? I mean, I love basketball. I love talking about it. I love discussing the NBA. But the only time I, I mean, I haven't done it in a while, but for me, the playing basketball is my the best way to exercise because I'm not thinking about exercising when I was doing it because what I would do is I would go to the park really early in the morning when it's not too hot find the basketball court and all I would do is just shoot the ball get try to catch my rebound and keep shooting again the ball again and I would get so tired so exhausted after doing that from just five minutes and I just want to get my stamina up for that because once I started doing, like, I haven't done it in a, in, in a year, but when I was doing it, I was so happy about, uh, I, it, like, all my love and respect for every, all my favorite basketball, 
basketball players went up. Because it's one thing to watch basketball and you're seeing people running with the ball nonstop jumping and running and like doing these quick moves with their feet and stuff. But it's a whole different thing when you're actually doing it yourself and you realize how much hard work that takes. And now you understand that's why all these people get millions and millions and millions of dollars because they 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 are so um because not anyone can do that i mean you have to think about it in the entire history of the nba there are maybe in the 75 or what is it now 77 78 years the nba has existed there are only maybe 5000 total in total and that's because that's really hard to do not anyone can just fucking do it Arutu says, hey, sorry, I am like, nah, you never have to be sorry for being late. It's like, you, you don't have to make my live streams a priority. It's just as long, because remember, there is the DVR, live DVR, so whenever the live stream is over, you can always rewind stuff. Cosmic Clam, welcome to the stream. I'm glad to see that the people I trust, all the mods coming back, because we really could have used you earlier. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> Lucas Molly says, how's your aunt Jaren? She's, well, she does have a cold, and I think that's probably where I got it from. Uh, but I took some of the medicine, and let's just say if I was feeling like I was at 30% earlier, let's just say right now I'm feeling like, I, <coughs> as he says when he starts coughing again, <coughs> let's just say I feel like I'm at... um. Let's just say my my energy level is at maybe if I was at uh, thirty percent, I would feel comfortable at saying I'm at fifty percent of how I usually feel right now. Yuka says, "Do you speak other languages apart from English?" Well, I used to be able to fluently speak Tagalog, which is a language from the Philippines. That's where my mom's side of the family is from. But the thing is, whenever my aunt watches videos on YouTube from the Philippines, um, I pretty much just, I can understand everything, but it's, it's kind of a very weird sensation where you can understand every word they're saying, but it's hard for you to just say it out loud yourself when you know what you're trying to say, but you can't say it. It's one thing I regret is not keeping up with it, but I can, but here's the thing is my aunt speaks to me completely in Tagalog and I speak to her in English and we, and that's how we've been having full conversations our entire, like my entire life. <clears throat> yeah, exactly what Khaled said. Co yeah. Cosmic claim. If you just want to know what happened, just. Let's just say an RP person tried to derail this. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> well, Khaled, I, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Jonathan says doing football every week and getting more confident with my music has helped my depression a lot in the last year. That is great to hear. That really is great. Jonathan says need to sink yourself into your passions where you have the time absolutely because if you're not doing your passion then what like it's i think i used this reference earlier but it's sort of like when someone doesn't do their passion and all they're doing is just is just sailing by just working at i don't know where i used to be at if you're just stuck working at i don't know working at Kroger or Chick-fil-A or Walmart or Subway or any 
retail place and you're doing that and you feel like you're trapped there because that's exactly where I was. Because if you enjoy doing those jobs, then by all means, more power to you. But if you know you if you're feeling it deep in your core, this is not what I want, then you need to find a way to be able to do what you actually want as soon as you can. That's why I'm so thankful that everything with my trajectory is going the way it is with YouTube. Because since I was since I was 14, YouTube, well, I don't know the exact age. Let's just say since 2008, all I have ever wanted was to do YouTube for a living, play in a band for a living. I keep saying that over and over and over again because this is just a reminder to myself. Because, and this is why, you know, though, in, a, in those, uh, do you know how, like, in a pair of jeans, like, in a pair of jeans, you notice how there's like a, like that ec that other extra pocket, that small pocket right here. You know what I do in that with that pocket? I put this in here. This is a pick with Eddie Van Halen's signature and these were like a pack that I bought at Guitar Center, uh like just the regular Tortex picks and like the artwork from his uh Frankenstein guitar. It's like, I always put this here, so I'm always prepared to play a guitar wherever I, or bass wherever I am, and then whenever I do pull it out, it's like, I use this as like carrying the reason why I do what I do with me. <clears throat> like a little it's more than just a guitar pick it's like a memento it's like i i could have like more of these like i could buy james hetfield's picks slash picks picks with the beatles on it or paul who is my favorite beetle i could just do all of that and it's like a physical i don't know what the proper word for it is like a physical shrinket as a tool that you always have because, you know, always want to have your guitar pick because nothing sucks more than using a type of pick that you're not used to using when you're playing the instrument. But Jonathan is asking, is it worth learning to play without a pick? Absolutely. I mean, that's what Richie Kotzen did. Richie Kotzen, if you have never heard of Richie Kotzen before, please, you owe it to yourself. Please watch him. He's an amazing guitarist, an amazing singer. And he decided, I'm just not going to use a pick anymore. And he, the way he can play with his fingers is just incredible. But of course, the master of that was Jeff Beck. Because I believe for the last, what, 20 or 30 years of his life, he stopped playing with a pick. Now, that doesn't mean you have to do it. But it's always good to be able to try new things, try out different stuff. Mr. Silver says, hope he comes to a stage where he can quit Uber. I mean, that is what I want, is for YouTube and my band Cobra Strike to start paying the bills instead of Uber. Like, that's the goal. However, that's not to throw any shade at Uber, because Uber is the reason why I was even able to have a home. Or find have this because I was living in hotels and even then Uber was carrying me through that entire time because I was living in hotel rooms for sixty dollars per night or more per every night and now I'm lucky that I I found this place but you know that's what I want and that's why I'm staying here on YouTube and I'm not gonna fucking go anywhere. Rattlehead says, I wouldn't be an Uber driver. I don't like strangers in my car. Well, the thing is, for me, I don't mind that because I get to talk to people. And it's and it's good. 
there's only like a handful of times I've dealt with bad passengers. Like I can count on like maybe there was like only six times out of the three years when I felt saw some truly, truly, truly shitty, awful human beings. And and I've had, I think, more than 3000 rides total. Yuka says, are you an introvert by any chance? I mean, the way I would describe myself is I am the most extroverted introvert you can find because it takes a lot for me to get my energy up and to go out and talk to people. But the thing is, when I want to talk to people, I go and do it. Val says, proud of you and your progress in life, man. Saw you from a think before you sleep video. Gotta say you're an amazing guy. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Khaled says, I'm graduating high school soon. Any advice for the future guys? Here's what I would say. Find, and I think I already mentioned this before, but it's worth hammering it in until it's cemented into your brain. Find what you love to do in life. And don't you ever fucking let anyone tell you no. Whether it's music, whether it's making YouTube videos, if you like painting, if you like working on cars, if you want to be a teacher. If you want to be a lawyer, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a firefighter, you want to join the military, you want to, what, be a Twitch streamer, if you want to fix air conditioners, if you want to open up your own restaurant, it doesn't matter. Find what you want to do and then go and do it and don't you ever fucking give up on it. Take it from me as a guy who almost fucking gave up. Because uh, I don't know if you can still see. Oh, actually, it's a good thing. You can't see the scar anymore from when I tried to self-delete myself. But I have to say that because if I say the other word, then everything goes out. Then then YouTube will come down on the video, but or this live stream, but. If you're ever, if you ever like get to that place because you get so upset, you get so fucking angry or you get so mad, it's like you feel like you want to self delete. Don't. Because I, I, because I almost was there. And the thing is that I want to tell you is if I did do that to myself, I never would have gotten to where I am right now. Because if you're feeling truly that bad, here's the thing. You'll never know if tomorrow will be better. So why? Just follow what you want to do. And don't let assholes tear you down. That's all I got to say, Khaled. <clears throat> Vegetarian has it right. School is not about learning. It's about passing. And that's why I thought life was going to be easy when I was younger, because it was all about the whole gifted kid syndrome where I thought, well, because I'm really good at remembering this certain information for a test and getting a good grade, that means everything's going to be easy. No, it's fucking not. So. Th yeah, that's all I got to say about that stuff. Yes, vegetarian, I agree. I learned more on YouTube in an hour than my entire schooling. You know what? I Because this got one person has been here for a long time, I'm going to add, add, add him as a moder moderator. Vegetarian, you are my new moderator. 
<sighs> yeah, exactly. He says his degree is in networking, but if you've got the love and desire for it, you can learn it at home and get hired. Absolutely. I just want to make sure it's it was there. Hang on, let me double check. Okay, yeah, yeah, it says I've got him on. Yes. It says, yeah, you've been coming here long enough. Yeah, Beavis, yes, yeah, profile picture is Beavis. One. <laughs> uh, hey, Beavis. <laughs> yeah, butthead. Uh, Sixty-nine. <laughs> That's my quick little Beavis and Butthead impression. Aro two says, "I'm gonna take what you just said to heart. I have been struggling a lot myself because I never had motherly love." Mm. Well, it's, well, for me, I mean, I lost my parents at an early, very early on. I mean, my dad died when I was 14, and my mom became permanently disabled because uh, she had a stroke when I was 24, and now uh, she's permanently in a nursing home, and... Yeah, it's tough because I feel like I want to be able to talk to my parents now more than ever, but what I would say is, you know, not everyone gets dealt the same hand, and that's why I feel like meditation is so important because it helps it helps me stay grounded with my energy and it helps me be able to take all the trauma that I went through and it helps me stay positive because sometimes for me, like I always point to meditation as the number one thing that saved my mental health because I have no idea where the hell I would be without it. Mm. Yeah. Because for me, when I meditate, Actually, let me do something. I'm going to experiment and try something that I've never done before. Oh, wow. Well, Mr. Silver says, uh, Your attitude is inspiring, mate. Here's something for the road ahead. And he donates 249 NOK, which I don't know what the currency for NOK is, but hey, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it, man. Thank you. Rattlehead, it, that's exactly what I was going to get into. Now, I've never tried to tell, talk to, oh, yeah, it's funny how it's like I see it in the chat room before it shows up on OBS, but, um, what I want to do is I just want to try this out. I want to try, oh, NOK is Norwegian Crone. All right, thanks for letting me know, Yuka. If anyone wants to try this out with me, let's just try meditating for just five minutes. And if you don't get it right away, it's okay. But what I want to do right now is I want to play a meditation track, just some music, and I'll make sure to shout out the channel for this. Okay, so uh, this song, this uh, cop, this video is called 
432 hertz meditation and relaxing music copyright free from the channel nature healing society so i just want to show it first and then so if you guys are interested in it this is what it what it is that's what i'm going to be using for right now and i just found this all i did was type in meditation or music but for the live stream i typed in royalty free and i'm going to attempt to teach you guys if any of you care to follow along how uh how what i do when i meditate so this is my first time ever talking mm -hmm. about my process out loud but i just want to see if this helps any of you out So, give me one second. <clears throat> uh, Joseph, we are not going to talk about this topic, okay? Because it became toxic and opened a can of worms all right that's your only warning if you do it again you're out of here all right So, <clears throat> what I do first is you have to breathe in and breathe out, okay? And I've never tried to do this before, so, because I, I listen a lot to Joe Dispenza and Dr. K and, um, and Aaron Doty, so let's... uh. Let's just go ahead and just try meditating. <clears throat> so first, just breathe in. And now breathe out. And what I want you to do is try to look all the way up at the ceiling with only using your eyeballs. Try to look at your eyebrows and just try to close your eyes very slowly to the point where it feels like it's a good yeah you just want to just try to close your eyelids while your eyeballs are trying to look at your eyebrows first and uh and then we can begin and i'm going to start playing the music right now Okay. Now for anyone that wants to follow along with meditating with me, what I want you to do now is all you need to do is just breathe. All right. So first I want to breathe in, count to five, breathe out while counting to five. So breathe in one, two, three, four, five, and now breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, all right, now, <clears throat> I'm just going to make sure the microphone is working, okay. And let me know if the music is too loud or if I am too loud with the microphone. But all I want you to do is first, just don't think about anything. The only thing that you have to do is just listen to 
my voice. And what I want you to do is just try to rethink of a happy memory. Okay? Just think of something where you really felt great or try to remember that same feeling that you had when you got really exciting news. Like for me, it was finding out that, let, we'll just use a very quick example, but for me, because I love video games, I remember the announcement of the PS4 watching that live on Twitch or live on YouTube was very exciting. So whatever that memory is for you, just think about it and try to think about where you were during this moment. Who were you with? Were you alone? Like try to really, really physically try to imagine that you are really there. You can see everything with your imagination. You can see where you were. Was there a desk in front of you? Were you in a bedroom? Were you at a beach with your friends? Wherever you were at, just try to think about what you were doing there. Because now it's happening to me. I'm, I'm thinking of a very happy memory right now. I hope you are too. And now let's just breathe in and count to five. Breathe out, count to five again. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. Now breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Now, try to imagine that you are able to do your passion while imagine living your passion just think about what it is for me it's being able to do YouTube for a living right now I'm imagining myself living in a house where I have a room that I dedicate for YouTube I have a rack of guitars with me And I'm spending these times in my imaginary future where I'm writing songs, I'm going on tour with my band. Whatever that is for you, maybe you're a painter, try to imagine your fa like you're painting something and you just made a really good sale. Or try to imagine if you want to make movies, try to imagine you're on the set directing your favorite, m directing a movie you've always wanted to make and you've been given the green light by the, by the producer or whoever it is. Imagine you're on the set filming a movie you really want to make. Or if you're really into sports, if you are into soccer, or if you're into basketball, Try to imagine yourself being in the professional league right now. How does it feel knowing that what you want? Try to make it feel as real as you possibly can. Now by this point, you might be feeling some kind of... Your energy might be shifting because you're thinking about really happy memories right now. 
And while your memories are really happy, use that feeling you had to fuel yourself through the rest of the day. Use that energy you just created within your happy memories and your imagination and use that as your spark, your spark towards positivity. Now what I want you to do is, now we are slowly going to return back to this present moment. So now what I want you to do is just wiggle your hands, move your hands around, try to get back into your body again, body back inside your body again. And when I count to 10, you'll be fully awake and fully happy. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Open your eyes. So, I don't know if anybody here was following along with me on that, but if you did, let me know how you're feeling right now because I, and it's different because I feel like I wasn't doing a full meditation because I'm trying to like guide people through it because I saw someone, I saw someone talk about, um, asking, how do you meditate? So that's me talking through my process through it. RO2 says, I was following. I feel more peaceful now. That is great. That's great. Vegetarian says, deep breathing is good. Our stress-filled world has everyone breathing in their upper chests. Yes. And this, this also applies to singing as well. If you, because, you know, it's like if you breathe from your diaphragm the same way you do while you sleep, it helps me, with you know, return to my positive energy. Savannah Reynolds says, wow, thank you. I've actually never been able to meditate before. That was my first successful attempt. Holy crap, that is amazing. Because here's the thing, because so many people, so many people, yes. Okay, Rattle said, says, I tried. I need more practice. And that's okay, because I was didn't get it completely the first time. But the thing that I do with meditation is I treat it exactly like how I would treat brushing your teeth. Just as soon as you wake up, you go ahead and do it. But because here's the thing. Uh, the next time I live stream, and if you guys come back, let me know how you felt during the throughout the rest of your day. Because for me, I look at meditation as this is how... I use it almost like a primer, like a foundation where I know if I meditate, there's a much higher percentage of me having a good day versus when I don't. I I, I don't know if that name is Jeremy or Jeremy. He says, Dude, I will get mad at you if you don't post videos every single day because you got this, bro. You got this. You have so much potential. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, well, the thing is, I can't. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Uh, Gare, I, I, I think it's Jeremy. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. But um, I, let's just say that I might not be able to put out content on the schedule that you wish. But I hope that you still keep coming back and watching because YouTube is, this is what I do. Infamous Yuchiha, I think that's how you say it, says, keep living life, bro. Learning to shrug off what people say and realize the value of my life and others. That's great to hear.
Because I feel like for me, I mean, those are the channels that I truly under, those are the things that I truly, uh, that I truly love doing because, okay, now I've, I'm losing my train of thought again. Jeremy says, have you thought about going on the streets and filming content on in a public place? Um, maybe someday in the future when I have more money, I'm able to scale up production. Maybe someday. <laughs> Mo says, God damn fool, you still online? <laughs> well, you know, I'm I'm sick, so I'm just going to... You know, it's like I I'm, I can't work for Uber today, but I'm here. I'm just happy I'm able to live stream. Orotu says, any tips on how to stop negative thoughts overtaking? Well, for me, I would say as long as it's a skill, you just have to start thinking about what you enjoy more than the negative thoughts. And believe me, I know, I know it's way more easier said than done. But I mean, for example, I don't know if you can tell it within me, but I feel different even doing that meditation where I wasn't fully, do I wasn't fully doing it, but I was still trying to do it at like a 50% rate, still trying to keep my mind closed with the deep breathing and guiding a and like, giving a guided attempt at it, because that was my very first time ever trying to do anything like that. So if you guys want me to do any more types of guided meditations in the future, I will do it. But I wrote to my tips on how to stop the negative thoughts overtaking. Just start with meditation. Just keep showing up for meditating. Keep doing it over and over and over and over again. Do it every single day. Do it as soon as you wake up and do it right before you go to bed. And it might take a while to get used to doing it, but uh, but trust me, it once you really feel like you're really deeply into it, it is and when you wake up, you just feel for me, I feel calm and at peace. And what I really enjoy is it helps me feel more positive and it really creates those sparks of creativity. Old account says, have you come across Naval? Is that Ravikant? He says he touches on meditation and self-development. If you enjoy Healthy Gamer, you'd like Naval. He's brilliant and changed my life. Yeah, Mo says he fell asleep with meditation last night and it was on for four hours. Yeah. Uh... Because that's the one thing I recommend is any of those eight hour videos. <laughs> any of those eight hour videos where you're watching them. Like those eight hour meditation videos, I leave them on my TV overnight while I sleep. Because I notice the day I feel, let's just say there's a much higher chance of me having a bad day when I don't do it versus when I do do it. Haha, -ha, he just said doo doo. <laughs> hey, hey, Beav. Uh, hey, Beavis. Uh, yeah, my head. He just said doo doo. <laughs> Shadow Cat says, I think I'm going to start meditating. That's great to hear. Khaled says, Jaren, are you into the idea of somebody joining on a call on stream? Because I'd love to do that with you. You would be a good conversation, I think. Uh, I I don't know yet. Because uh, I, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable with, like, having calls on streams. But I only feel like just for right now, at the moment, I feel like I would be better at 
if I ever have guest guests on here, I really have to get to know someone first. So I it's um it's I mean it could be something in the future. Vegetarian says all meditation connects us somewhat to our higher selves in the peaceful realm we really come from. I agree with that, absolutely. And of course, by the way, please, I, I hope that this is already common sense, if it's not, but by all means, I am not a doctor. Please do not look to me for medical advice. All I'm doing is giving my opinion. I really hope I don't have to say that disclaimer, but I'm just going to say it anyway, just in case. Yeah, it's a good idea, but people could get out of hand better to pre-book a guest, yeah. Oh, we're at 30 live viewers right now. That's the most amount of views I've gotten so far on this live stream. That's great to see. Aro2 says, I just got to 480 subs today on YouTube. That's amazing to see. That's great. Jeremy says, do you have a Discord server? Yes, I, I do have one. But I've been having issues in the past where when people join it, there ends up, uh, when it happens, there ends up being uh let's just say there was a time when someone posted some horrible photos on there and i really had to get the mods to get rid of that a row two says does it feel weird to have a lot of subs i mean not really no i mean because this is what i've want yes mo says gosh it was bad yes it truly was bad but for me because this is what I've always wanted, it doesn't feel weird. Because this is what I do, this is what I enjoy doing. It does not feel weird. I would say if it feels weird, I think it's because it's bringing up a subconscious thing. Where it, having a lot of people watch you feels weird. It's just, it's a thing that you just have to get used to over time. Because I was freaking out all of a sudden when that video of mine hit 600,000 views. And now when I look at it, it's like it took me, instead of being nervous or freaking out about it, I'm thankful for it because I wouldn't be where I am right now without it. Well, Aro2 says, I'm very shy, so I'm fearful that I might want to stop when I get more subs. Well, that's the whole point is you keep on going. It doesn't matter how bad you feel. It's just like what I said in one of my other videos. All you have to do is you just keep showing up. The more you keep showing up, the easier it will get. Trust me. Khaled says, the only reason I don't live stream more is because I don't have the consistent viewers. That was the old mindset that I used to have. If you just, like, the only way is you just have to keep doing it i mean because you're the only way to get more viewers is to live stream more i mean that's that's just the way it is because if you truly did love youtube you wouldn't be bothered because if youtube is not your passion then just don't do it because YouTube is not a thing to just half-ass it. You really have to go for it. Because if it's what you truly want to do in your life, then 
then you would just do it. I used to make up excuses, and I'm not doing that anymore. I used to say, oh, I'm lazy. I don't feel like doing it. No, 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 no. If this is what you want, you got to get over it and make yourself do it. Yeah. Mo has a laughing emoji when he says you can't half-ass it. Exactly. Jeremy says, who is your favorite YouTuber? Who inspired you to become a YouTuber? Well, for me, early on, it was... Um, <clears throat> well, it's... Really, uh, it, was, it was guitar players on YouTube. Like, I remember Andy from Pro Guitar Shop. He would demo a bunch of guitar pedals, and I really enjoyed doing that. And for me, it was really Khaled says, if it was up to me, I would dedicate all my time to YouTube, but school keeps biting me in the ass. Well, the thing is, right now, a few years ago, I kept saying work was biting me in the ass. But here's the thing. You have to, if you really love, love it, you will make the time for it. Because really, if you just say you don't have time for it, that's just you trying to come up with reasons to not do it. Because trust me, YouTube is not as fun as it appears to be. Because there's going to be times when you're going through it and you don't want to plan videos, but you have to do it. Because for me, that's a dangerous slope. If you say, I don't want to do it, oh, I don't have time to do it, I feel lazy, I don't want to do it, then you don't do it for one day, then you'll keep putting it off, and then you'll keep putting it off more and more and more and more and more until you never do anything about it, and all those times when you say, I don't have the time for it, you could have been spending that time putting in a couple of minutes each day doing something, planning a video, or just making a video, because guess what? Some people are not going to be satisfied because they're not getting the immediate results. I mean, I'm living proof of that. I didn't start. I didn't get to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube until what? Like more than almost 15 years because I wasn't dedicating myself enough. Wendigo says, I saw your video, and honestly, it really helped change my mindset, and I'm just pushing forward and improving myself overall. That's great to hear, Wendigo. But yeah, the people who inspired me was, um, first it, were, it, were, it was people playing guitars, then it was like gaming news, like I wanted to treat youtube like i was making my own version of g4 if you guys remember g4 the tv channel it was tv for gamers that was their slogan and it really was ahead of its time because it i remember the like x play and with adam sessler and morgan webb attack of the show with kevin Pereira and olivia munn and then even before that i remember when it was the screensavers with leo laporte and before that i remember watching Cinematech when all they would do is show video game trailers. It really was like like what gaming is on YouTube now, that's what it was what G4 used to be. And I wanted to be a host for that. So what I would do is I would watch gaming news, give my give my opinion on it, but I've really fallen out of that now because it just feels like anytime people talk about gaming news, it's just everyone just has something pessimistic to say about it and i came to video games to have fun not to talk shit all the time oh yes arotu i did watch classic game room i loved it i i love that channel
JH says, how's it going with your blood pressure? Things are going much better because now I have my uh, blood pressure on medication and my blood pressure has been has been consistently with normal levels. So, yeah, my uh, things are much more improved now. Thanks for asking. Well, that's the funny thing is I don't know about any upcoming games. I really don't. The only thing that I know I'm excited for is, because I love Marvel is like there's Insomniac doing a Wolverine game. Arcane, the people who made Dishonored, they are making a Blade game. I'm looking forward to that. But other than that, I really don't know. Oh, there was a new South Park game. I had no idea that was a thing. Oh, Vegetarian, I want to respectfully disagree. Because he says, you know what sucks is God of War Ragnarok just not enjoying it. Man, that sucks to hear because I love God of War Ragnarok. That was my game of the year for 2022. But for me, it's like the video games that I care about the most are offline, single-player, story-driven games. That's why I love God of War. I love Uncharted. I love The Last of Us. And... I, I love Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, uh, but even when I was younger, it's like I kind of grew into that style, but when I was younger, I just, you know, I loved Mario Kart, Mario Party, uh, just uh, GoldenEye, Rogue Agent, Need for Speed Underground 2, those are the games I grew up with. Jonathan says you were obsessed with Call of Duty, okay, yeah then God of War is very different to that. Dead Space was Game of the Year. Oh, the remake. Okay. Yeah, I, I haven't played it, but I, I should get into that when I get my PS5 back from the pawn shop. Because I just, I want to get my guitar back. I want to get my PS5 back. Rotu says, I have a Nintendo Switch OLED, but I barely play it because I suck at Nintendo games. <laughs> Jonathan says Black Ops 2 is probably my favorite game of all time. <laughs> Kevin says I love Mario games. Gave Super Mario Brothers Wonder a 9 out of 10. That's amazing. Yeah, because I heard that Mario Brother that Mario Wonder was really good, but I've I don't have a Nintendo Switch. Baldur's Gate 3 was your favorite last year. Alright. Yeah, I just don't really play a ton of video games, uh, but I will say. Uh, last night when I went to Keanu's place and we played NBA 2K24, it was the first time in three years that Keanu beat me at the game. <laughs> because it's so funny because when we were younger, he would always win. But now it's like, I, I don't know, I just, I lost my rhythm, I lost my groove and he just, he won. Khaled says, I'm very nostalgic for new Super Mario Brothers Wii for some reason. Well, yeah, I mean, I I showed it in a Flush Madness clip. Altair says, have you seen Oppenheimer? Yes, I have, and I loved it. It was my favorite movie from last year. Loved Oppenheimer. But anyways, I have to go now because um, I have to probably eat something so I can have some food in my system. But it was great talking to you guys. I hope you have a good day. And I'm just glad, even though I'm sick and I still don't feel like I'm at 100% just yet. Because, I, I don't know, this is either a cold or this is like the most severe allergies I've had in a while. But I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye.